Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel and today I'll be reacting to episode 2 of Insatiable and you guys, holy motherfucker, you, are gu you guys showed up for that last video in the pilot reaction because at the moment, a week later after filming the first episode, um, it's gotten over 5,000 views and I really was like anticipating it to completely bomb. But it turns out everyone is going crazy for Insatiable and I'm glad that I'm hopping on this train. I will be reacting to the entire season now, but with the whole like timing of it, I'm not going to rush it. I'm going to watch a couple of episodes here and there, drop them over a couple of, every couple of weeks and, you know, make sure this channel is still alive until the end of September, basically because that's when all the other shows return. So Insatiable is going to be spoon fed or drip fed to you for the next couple of weeks possibly a month. Um, I hope you guys are okay with that because I think that will keep me sane and you satisfied with videos. So let's, without further ado, get into Insatiable Episode 2. <laughs> this story is batshit crazy. That is after I emptied out the entire minibar. Huh. Right, any chance of making it through the day? I needed something to soak up the booze. Went to Atlanta for AA retreat. Unreachable for four days, call if you need me. Smiley face, mom. First day of school. Good job, mom. Hey. We are still working on Patty's look. No, we are not. Leave it alone. <laughs> Except I couldn't. Patty was my chance to get my pageant coaching mojo back. Mm. I just have to keep things on the down low. Oh shit, it changed. Can I call you daddy? <laughs> Absolutely not. Can I call you daddy? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, flashback. I'm not ever going back there again. You want to talk about it? Maybe Bob was right. I could write a whole new story. Of course, this is like a series of boys. <laughs> and there is my Prince Charming, Rick Armstrong. Oh, Maybe he's... my pageant narrative could be like a fairy tale where the vengeful maiden rejects the hero like he did to me. Rick! That's Patty Waddell. <laughs> no way, to uh, Fatty Patty's huge. Just because you're skinny now doesn't mean you can steal someone else's boyfriend. So, no other girls. Got it. Rick, is there someone else? No way. I love you. Wait, was there? I feel like... Or a criminal. Well, obviously not a criminal. Hola, clase. Sure, he had that, right? You know how I was gonna bang him, and then I didn't, so I still wanted revenge? Patty, what did you do? I may have briefly considered... Lighting him on fire. Patty, are you insane? I don't know. I cleaned out the mini bar and I watched fire starter and the rest is blur. Wait. Dude, I uh, was right, wasn't I? I didn't expect to see you at home. I came to see Adam May. Adam May's out of town. <laughs> I would definitely yell me outside. Welcome to Masonville. Hey Alicia, how do you find him? Um... That's even a rough thing. Like, yes, she went from fat to skinny, but they can't even tell that it's it's her. Like that just is two kinds of wrong. Like one, like that's what oh I don't know. That's just the wrongest thing to do. Ah. Oh. Smart. <laughs> somebody's boyfriend girlfriend why did you think that i would say yes, i know how things work or a social pariah um did the hottest guy i've ever seen besides brick armstrong just call me hot so what happened did you like light someone on fire or something 
The fuck? I'm Christian. That's my name. And my religion, which is super annoying on the nose. And your backstory. I'm Patty. No backstory. I like a woman of mystery. <laughs> I've never been a woman of mystery in my life. That guy is killing me. In the inside. Okay, that's just all kind you of wrong. You are so fucked. Ooh, is this one of those afternoon delight kind of visits? In the bad way. <laughs> okay, I don't remember them saying like the swear words in the show yet, but the way they use that word, the F word in this scene, oh. <laughs> Regina had you followed. I'm not the one who can stay away from teenage girls. You're the one that can't stay away from Bob Barnard. Oh. Please, no more Patty, okay? There is something off about that girl! I am telling you, you are wrong. Hello? I think I may have killed someone. <laughs> I gotta go. Yeah. I just... I don't think that that... <laughs> yep. <laughs> Cheetos, for sure. If you excuse me, I have to get to work. Oh. Why is he taking Seriously? his tie off? Well, it's wall to wall sitting there. Wouldn't want to soil my shirt. Especially after your wife was kind enough to iron it for me. Oh. What? <laughs> yeah, Ed Amaze out of town, so Cordley helped me out. She didn't tell you. I'm not sure which was worse. The thought of my wife ironing a shirt. The fact that he has to take his shirt off in order to go into a, a fire-ridden building is fucking hilarious. And just, you know, a gift. Shirt for Bob Bulgin, Bicep Barnard, or the fact that the only way to get anything out of Barnard was to suck up to his ego. I'd rather light myself on fire. <laughs> Tell me what happened. Show me your titties. What? I reminded you that you still owed me for lying for you in court, so... <laughs> Show me your... Did we hook up? No. I thought we were going to, but you got kind of mad when I asked why you weren't wearing a bra. Now, here's what we know. The victim did not check in alone. He was with a young, blonde woman, 36 double D. Who? You know the cup's eyes? We found a bra in the bathroom. She's a number one suspect. What the fuck? Ah. How did you get those? You were for Bob Barnard's eyes out of my mind. I'm here as a friend. You know what I just had to like, it just clicked to me? That the pilot would have been the original pilot that was going to be used on network television and now this is the second episode of the show which is what netflix would have picked up and started producing for themselves and that's why there's the f-bombs dropping here there and everywhere now duh oh, honey, I, I hope you take that pervert husband of yours for everything that he is worth right down to his fruity little caboodle got him Oh, thank you, Regina. Now, I'm assuming you don't know this, but you're guilty of trafficking and child pornography. Wait, what? Uh-huh. It's illegal. You wait just one Let minute. Let me be real clear, Regina. It's Regina. I love, love my husband. Fruity caboodle and all. So you will drop this or I will go to the police. Never mind. Where are you? I'm in the evidence locker. In the police station. Now he's helping me cover my tracks. What? No! I told you to stay out of trouble! Get out of there! <laughs> <laughs> oh, unicorns and rainbows! That is an invasion of privacy. 12.05. That's 10 minutes after the fire started. It still doesn't exonerate me. Hold on. If we can prove that running at full speed, it took you longer than 10 minutes to get here from the motel, you'll be off the hook. Gateway to becoming a raging alcoholic. Rock and roll. Okay. Go. Oh my gosh. No, just go straight. That's not. <laughs> Daddy? Daddy? She needs to stay as far away from the hospital as possible. Um, that's gonna be tough. Patty sort of had to get her stomach pumped, so. Balls! <laughs> Oh, that's right, she's he's fucking the mom. We always have to do it in your car. And my face smushed up against the window like that is breaking down my collagen. What's that, like an old lady thing? <laughs> Everyone has it. You waited to tell me until after? Yeah. Obviously, I'm not stupid. Oh, honey, yes you are. I'm 
<laughs> I checked in with the DA. The DA? No. Babu Kaki Barnett. <laughs> She's got the alliterations down. He is on his way down here. <laughs> I missed you guys. Oh my god, you cannot follow directions to save your life. Literally. Go back in there. Lure your father out. I'll take care of her. Patty. Mom. Go back to the Bye. yard. I think we both know what really happened. Homeless guy. My name is John. But before you could light it, you looked up and saw a smoke alarm above the bed. But you weren't gonna let that stop you. You decided to disarm it. You jumped up. But you removed the battery, slipping it into your pocket. And then you lit your cigarette to escape the flames. But you ran into the door jam and knocked yourself unconscious. Oh. oh. Never seen it told that way before. For starting the fire. How could you know all that? Were you in the closet? That sounds like a confession. Ah, uh, fuck it. Huh. Yeah, it was me. Oh. Because of Bob, I had a future. Uh. There was hope for a new oh. me. My pageant story wasn't over yet. Bukaki! Okay. Huh. Let's get to the bottom of this. Remember, she's still drunk. Bob. I'll let it down. <laughs> but I couldn't put it behind me. Not yet. There was one more thing I had to do. I'll be right back. Patty. Wait, where are you going? Patty. So you owe me an apology. A an apology? You should be thanking me. I saved you. Because of me, you got skinny. Skinny isn't magic. It doesn't take away all of the years. That I got treated like shit. Well, let it go. I can't. I might be skinny on the outside, but on the inside, I'm still fatty patty. That's pathetic. Oh, I want you to hurt like I hurt. You deserve it. I wish I had lit your ass on fire. I hope you drop fucking dead. Oh. I wanted him dead. And then he was. And I was happy. Maybe Bob was right. Maybe Skinny was magic. Oh. I wondered what else I could do. Oh. 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 Damn. There's no going back. Damn, what a second episode and what a way to continue off the series and I really enjoyed it. Like I thoroughly enjoyed it so much and it was nice to see like it was interesting to see that this episode really had that Netflix taste on it, like, because of the swear words and the freedom of that. <clears throat> but then again, it didn't seem so different to the pilot. Like, it still had that continuity. It just had a couple of F-bombs dropped. But there were some serious storylines continued in this episode. The whole brick with Regina and um magnolia weaved in and then that new guy that patty met he had like one scene and i'm just like can we have a bit of more of him please um overall such an enjoyable episode and i'm actually really excited for the next one um i really am surprised that i haven't got any spoilers yet but that's a good thing and something to be positive about i hope you guys are enjoying these reactions because i hope they do really well because this show is something to be proud of like yes it had a bad rep when it started but at the same time they do like put all this like oh yeah it's magic now she's skinny and blah 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 but then sh she bounces like patty bounces back with this line that says no like it's actually not magic it's really hard because you're left with all this other shit that goes on in your head and that was just beautiful like it actually the way they have done it and created it and like you know they they show the whole like you know she was like fat and then bang skinny but underlying issues are there and they to explain them they don't just gloss over them so i really appreciate that in the show anyway i hope you have a great day and i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did enjoy this reaction to the episode make sure you give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below and make sure to click subscribe so you can be notified when i post another insatiable reaction because they're going to be coming out slowly so you need to be notified and know when they're coming but yeah i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys next time